When playing sports, there is always a possibility of athletes getting injured, and one of the most dangerous injuries is a concussion. Some symptoms that can occur from concussions are headaches, memory issues, nausea, and many more. So a concussion is a knock on the head where you usually have some other stuff going on. So it could be a headache, confusion, blurry vision, feeling sick to your stomach, just or even just generally feeling weird. Some of the sports that receive the most amount of concussions include football and soccer. Therefore, youth leagues in El Paso are making rule changes to keep the young athletes safe. Some of the rule changes being made to youth football include multiple training sessions on concussions for parents and coaches, limit the amount of games played to one a week, have less hitting in practice, players can only be enrolled in one league at a time, and children under five must play flag football. U.S. Soccer had made a recommendation to the soccer leagues throughout the United States to do not allow the hitters from the kids under 10, year, 10 years of age and under. And that is with, you know, protection for concussions. In our association specifically, we have not banned heading altogether, at least not yet. It's still being voted on. But as of right now, we are asking that all of our coaches go through concussion awareness training, where they actually take an online course and get certified in concussion awareness. Another way to help the youth be safe and healthy is by having trainers on site whenever there's a game going on. Some people might say that this will be too expensive because the trainers will need to be paid to be at the fields for multiple hours a day for most days of the week. Um, these parents already pay, I mean, they invest a good amount of money to have their kids playing and, uh, you know, when you consider equipment, uniform, and all the other costs, but... Others might not trust the trainers that are available and will just want to take their child to the doctor they trust. Also, if there's an emergency, they will just call 911 and let them handle the situation at hand. However, having trainers on the field will be much safer for the kids. The injured child will receive immediate care and will not have to wait the average response time for an ambulance to arrive, which is 9 to 10 minutes. Also, athletes will receive professional care and not be attended by a parent who thinks they know what they are doing and can possibly make the situation worse. I asked some parents, how would you feel if there was a trainer at the field whenever there is a game going on in order to take care of possible emergencies? Here's what they said. I think that's an excellent idea for all concerned. It will be a lot better to have somebody to help our kids. Um, I, I think I feel more comfortable knowing that there was trained, certified and trained staff that could uh, tend to the injury of our, of our players and of our kids. I thought so. it would be a good thing if that way someone that's trained in the medical field a bit and can assess my child's injury to see how minor or major it is and whether other medical attention needs to be taken. To it. I think that's really important for a trainer to be here because I don't want to wait if something were to happen to my son or my daughter for the ambulance or emergency personnel to get here. Having trainers on the field will be less expensive than costly medical bills. There might be times where there is a minor injury in which a trainer can look at it and take care of it instead of having to call 911. The trainers can save people up to about $3,500 from a hospital bill and an ambulance ride by assessing the situation instead of having to call 911 immediately. Parents were also asked if they would mind paying extra when registering a child in order to take care of trainer funds. Here's what they say. I would not mind paying a little bit extra to have a trainer on the Absolutely not. No, I would not mind. I'd be willing to pay extra money for a trainer. Oh, it would be a good idea to have a somebody to help them, and I think it will be not a person that would uh, safety is certainly a priority with the kids, regardless of the age, so if it meant that the league was going to provide a, an additional uh, service to support the, uh, the health and safety of our kids. In the Therefore, trainers should be at sports field when youth are playing. The trainer will be able to take care of any possible emergencies. There should be a trained professional at a field, even if there's only one game going on. This can be achieved by increasing registration fees in order to help pay the trainers.